In this video, I will demonstrate how to remove eProductivity functionality from your eProductivity enabled mail file and replace the design of your mail file with a vanilla Lotus Notes mail template. Now this is a two-part process. The first part, remove eProductivity functionality, breaks the links between projects and actions and removes any eProductivity specific fields. Your original data remains intact in the database. The second part of the process replaces the design of your mail file with a standard Lotus Notes mail template. Let's begin. First I'll go into my mail database and you can see that it has the eProductivity functionality enabled. That is, I have the eProductivity navigator here on the left and all of the custom forms and views. So to remove this, I simply select from the eProductivity menu Installation Tools and Remove eProductivity Functionality. At that point I receive a warning that explains what's about to happen, reminds me that my original data remains intact, and asks me if I wish to remove all of the eProductivity specific fields. I'm going to select to remove eProductivity functionality. OK, that part is now done. And if you look down in the lower left hand corner, you would have seen that it showed some progress messages as they zipped on by. It's a very fast process. Next step is to upgrade the folders. I'll go ahead and allow Lotus Notes to do that for me. That takes just a moment. There we go. My folders have been successfully updated. OK, so at this point, eProductivity has now been removed from the mail file. I'm not going to send any feedback since I'm just demonstrating this. So I'll click No Thanks. And I'm going to exit my eProductivity enabled mail file. The next step is to apply a vanilla Lotus Notes mail template to this mail file. And I do this by right mouse clicking on the mail file from the workspace, selecting database, or if you're using Lotus Notes 8, application, and replace design. This will present a list of templates that I may choose from. I'm going to scroll down until I find the standard Lotus Notes mail template. And I will click replace. Yeah, I get a warning from Lotus Notes telling me that replacing the design changes the database views. OK, that's fine. Let's go. In the lower left hand corner of the status bar, you'll see that I'm now replacing the design of the mail file with the new template that I have selected. And you can see as it's deleting all of the eProductivity elements from the mail file. In just a moment, it will indicate that the design replace process has been completed. There we go. And now when I open the mail file, you will see that it now ha takes on the characteristics of vanilla Lotus Notes. That is, all of the eProductivity functionality has been removed. Now for this demo, I was using Lotus Notes version 7.04, and I was using eProductivity 1.81. The process, however, is the same whether you're on Lotus Notes 6, 7, 8, 8.5, or even 8.5.1.